Nancy L.T. Hamilton with a tip. So if you don't have a dapping set and you need one, or in my case, I loaned out my mushroom former to Chimera, and I really need a wider uh, doming container to dap this lock that I'm working on, um, I'm gonna make my own using a thermoplastic. This one is the Jet Set Ballistic, but you can use others. What we're looking for here is water that's 165 to, what is it, 190. You just pour them into the water and allow a few seconds for the heat to transfer into the plastic. And then I really need to get something to remove this from the water. I always have some kitchen tools in here that are just for the studio. It's warm. I'm putting it into a some kind of cup thing. Shove the ball in. The nice thing about this thermoplastic is that you can reheat it if all is not copacetic. I'm just gonna let that sit in there. You can do this with all different sizes. This stuff is hard as a rock. It's gonna be probably a little seam in here, but that's okay. That won't make me cry. So there's my little cavity. It's pretty good, I think it'll work well. a snow cone maker so this is going to make me a large dome so I'm going to work these little bumps out and then I'm just going to get rid of this bowl and I'm just going to take the jet set and work it around my little snow cone guy When you do this, you want to do maybe a little test on the material you're using because it's a plastic, so it likes to stick to plastics. And probably anything with a grain. Okay. It's nice to also have another form to press this into. Like with the ball, I used this. So I had a back shape for it, but I don't have that, so do it, make and do. My little brain started worrying again. It's a, always a scary thing for most people. But um, I just thought, well, if I'm going to make, a, you know, basically a forming block, I might as well make a punch. I used the bowl I made earlier uh, to shape it in and use the punch because I really... I'm working with a pattern, so I don't want to remove the pattern while I'm doming my discs. So this stuff will be great, and having a non-metal punch will be awesome. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the plastic in here, and I kind of drilled holes in this dowel, and I'm hoping that I can build up a wall around it and create some sort of punch out of this. Who the heck knows? Oh, that's hot. Very hot. Okay, so the punch. And then oh. so I'll put my dowel hopefully in the middle. Okay, well, I'm gonna let that dry, or not dry, cool. Voila, the finished punch. And a little foot or something around the edge. Boy, that really sticks to itself. Because these like to rock, because I formed this one in a bowl. So I'm gonna just push this on here. And that should be stable there. But, oh, probably shouldn't have put it on wood. <laughs> Let that be a warning to you. Don't put it on wood. 
Okay, there's my base. That's good. All right, are you ready to check out the <clears throat> mushroom formers? So this one is already domed, but I would like to flatten the dome. So I'm going to use my punch. Look at that. It's nice. Fits in there well. And this one, I'm going to dome. It already was dome, but I flatten it. leave one larger than the other so there this could use a little more work but I am not going to bother but it worked so yippee so there there's my two mushroom formers and my punch all right well I'm gonna say goodbye I hope this was at least interesting uh, maybe not helpful to you but maybe interesting who knows when you'll be in a situation where you desperately need a punch that's bigger than the one you have. Have fun. Don't forget to ring that bell when you subscribe. And a thumbs up is always appreciated. This is Nancy L.T. Hamilton saying ciao.